Energy solution stock jumped higher on Wall Street today as the Utah company finalized a billion-dollar deal. They're taking over a nuclear power plant in order to tear it down. John Hollenhorst has the story. It's a bit of an irony on the shores of Lake Michigan. A Utah company will become the owner of a defunct plant in Illinois called the Zion Power Station. We are essentially buying uh, for a dollar of uh, the nuclear power plant. Energy Solutions President Val Christensen says his company will also get control of a $900 million fund set aside to guarantee safe demolition and cleanup of the plant. We're taking that entire project to what is called greenfield status, uh, meaning that it is all decommissioned and decontaminated for other commercial use. Energy Solutions is best known in Utah for putting its name on the arena, but it's the company's radioactive waste landfill in Tooele County that put this deal over. About 30 percent of the cost of any decommissioning is disposal, and because we have our own disposal facility, we're able to mitigate the risk of cost overruns on disposal. The landfill in Utah will receive only low-level radioactive waste, similar to what they've disposed of for two decades. Concrete, soil, uh, debris, clothing, furniture, tools, the kinds of things that are extremely low in radioactivity. But no one knows the ultimate fate of the most dangerous stuff in the Illinois plant, the spent fuel rods. Energy Solutions will place the rods in dry casks on site, waiting for a national decision about what to do with waste that will kill you if you stand too close. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News. The billion dollar cleanup deal is expected to take 10 years in Illinois. It's one of the fastest growing cities in America, but for the people of